Hello everybody, it's your boy Daniel Does It, and we are actually going to do the first installment of reading these Diablo books that I got for my birthday. Shout out to Adrena, my lady. Um, we got the Book of Larath, and we got Diablo Tales from the Herological Library, which is a, a Diablo short story collection of kind of tales of the lore of Diablo. But every time I stream Diablo, I kind of want to do a section of this book. Or if I can't really stream, maybe we can do, you know, a reading from these tales. So, this is the art. This is what it came like. When you open it, we have this. I'm going to take that off so you can see the rest of it. I don't have the best camera angles here, but we're going to do what we can. And I'm using a ring light. I'm going to go ahead and read this the best I can and show you guys the pictures. So, that was the first page. It's just the Herodric symbol or sigil. Then we got Diablo. Tales from the Herodic Library. And it shows all the Arthurs and Blizzards. The contents here we have Introduction, which is page 7. And then on page 13 we have the Gospel of Death, which is about 10 page, 20 pages long. So we're going to do Introduction right now. And I'll stop the video and we'll probably do the gospel of death and then we'll go ahead and start our hardcore stream. So, introduction. Dear reader, in desperate times we assign the greatest value to, what, to that which is of otherwise ordinary important. Tools of steel, flame, stone. These things kept us safe through dangerous times, helped to fill our bellies and stave off the darkness for another day. Yet there is another device we rely on to carry us through, less tangible, perhaps, but no less vital, stories. Small beacons of light, but instantial, instantial all the same. Not every story is true, but every story reveals truth. Stories look into the teller's heart and tell us not just what our compan companions know, but what they believe, or sometimes what they want to believe. When we tell stories from the most twisted allergy allegories to the plainest texts we teach, we warn, we enlighten, and occasionally we entertain and incite. Such was my goal when, with the blessing of the Herodrome, I first set out to this humble quest to collect stories from the people of Sanctuary. Long ago, Archangel Tyrio needed the Herodrome to contain the prime evils. He gathered the mightiest souls humanity had to offer, a force forged to fight the darkness. When the darkness was contained, they faded into history. And then in the little box of a text, it says, Small beacons of light, but essential all the same. Not every story is true, but every story reveals truth. And this is the back part of it. The new generation of the order, of which I am now a part, was not formed under the guidance of an archangel but came together in a quest for knowledge. It was a scholars rather than sorcerers or soldiers who sought to take up the Herodrome mission. They searched our world to learn and preserve the knowledge of the original order. Force of arms and the arcane are still needed. Yes, but now we gather and store the secrets of sanctuary needed to fight the demons. And sadly, sometimes the angels who threaten our world. I am a seeker keeper, a testament taker, a recorder of myths and prophecies, but my purpose is not only to establish archives that gather the collective knowledge of great scholars and heroes, but to preserve the very people of our world who bear witness to its darkest, most trying times. There are the people who do not have ancient spells, high castles to protect them, like the Harajam itself, they must rely on their knowledge, knowledge that is shared through their stories. And now, those stories are shared with you. 
May this tome help you guide your path through our imperial world. And it's signed in a writing that I cannot really see, but it's a Herlogic Librarian. And then there's a Herlogic Serial. And that's when we'll get in the next video the Gospel of Death. Hope you guys enjoy. See you soon.